hello everyone welcome to the session this session is the part of our ongoing payment processing series in this session we are going to discuss about cyber source supported payment methods or we can say payment modes if you want to use the cyber source as a payment gateway on your website then it is important to know which all payment methods are supported by the cyber source so that you can use them on your website for the online payment first what is the payment mode payment mode is the option by which customer can pay to the merchant example of payment modes are card bank transfer wallet here i have listed down all the payment modes supported by cyber source you can see here cards buy now pay later this is also called bnpl wallets direct debits and online bank transfer let's see these one by one first cards cyber source supports multiple cards option debit card and credit card both here you can see which all type of cards supported by cyber source american express china union pay diners club discover jcb mastercards visa so all these cards are global means these are accepted in multiple countries there are few country specific cards like uh, elo it is in brazil hypercard also in brazil mada accepted in saudi arabia and rupee so this rupee is rupee card is accepted in india so as per your need you can offer multiple cards option to the customer to collect the payment now let's move on to the another payment mode that is called buy now pay later cyber source also supports the buy now pay later option and it supports multiple payment mode like affirm after pay klarna and visa installment these payments modes are country specific so affirm is supported in us after pay in europe klarna in some european countries you can see the country names here and visa installment it is supported globally so as per your need you can offer any of the buy now pay later service to your customer to collect the payment just to highlight what is why now pay later why now pay later is a service which allows customer to pay in installment over a period of time let's move on to the other payment mode that is called wallet cyber source supports multiple wallet options there are two types of wallet supported digital wallets and the e-wallets under digital wallet it supports apple pay click to pay google pay and the samsung pay and all these uh, digital wallets are accepted globally so you can use in any of the country if that particular country allows now another is the e-wallets and it supports the paypal under e-wallets so what is the difference between digital wallet and the e-wallet e-wallet first customer load the money in its wallet then make the payment but in e-wallet there is no need to preload the money in the wallet at the time of payment the money is ded deducted directly from the bank account in both the cases you need to link the bank accounts to link the bank accounts you can use the debit card or credit card or any some other option available now let's move on to the another payment mode that is called direct debits this payment mode helps merchant to pull the money from the customer account as per the agreement where this could be used this could be used for the subscription payment or reoccurring payment merchant will pull the money from your bank account and under this payment modes there are multiple type of payment methods available ACH BAX and SEPA ACH is available in US, BAX in UK and SEPA in Europe. So as per your customer base, you can use any of the available service. Next one is the online bank transfer. So in online bank transfer, customer is redirect to the bank website and their customer make the payment. There are multiple banks supported by the cyber source. 
and the list you can see here ban contact it is supported in belgium belfis belgium ideal in netherland so you can see the list here as per the need you can give the different bank transfer options to the customer so these are the all payments mode supported by the cyber source cards buy now pay later wallets direct debits and online bank transfer you can also you can also visit the office official documentation here so in case any new payment mode is added in future you can refer this so here you can see all payment modes so that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video